mac and cheese is like super cheesy, delicious, immaculate. I mean, I'm kind of out of vocabulary at this point. Mm. But you have been chopped. What? <laughs> <laughs> How much you chopped when you chopped on the table? First you said it's good, you back when you ran out of vocabulary, then you chopped so much. <laughs> So I got about 20 pieces of chicken, 20 pieces of chicken here. And to season it, I showed in my earlier video how I clean my chicken. That's just, you know, how I clean my chicken. Not saying this is how you should clean the chicken, but this that's how I clean my chicken. Also using uh, two tablespoons of black pepper, garlic powder, as well as parsley as well as onion powder, as well as uh, iodine sea salt, um, obey, yay, Lori seasoning, and I also add in half a cup, about one fourth cup of mustard, okay? And I take that and I put it in my bowl. I'm making my marinade because I'm gonna let it marinate for like two hours. We gonna eyeball it. A tablespoon of grape seed oil. My choice is grape seed oil. It's great for frying food. You get a great taste. And it's my choice because it's healthy. So, I'm going to take that and mix it up a little. I'm going to take those measurements and I'm going to pour them in that mustard and grapeseed mixture. Then I'm going to take from there... And I'm going to use my buttermilk. And because I have like 15 pieces of chicken, I'm gonna use majority of 
majority of this buttermilk. I'm just gonna save like a tablespoon of it because I will be baking the cake. Yeah. Okay, so I already have my pan prepared to marinate my chicken. And what I do with this, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pour a little bit of that buttermilk down at the bottom there. Not much. Set this here. Then I'm gonna start adding my chicken. Letting it get coated. That's it. So I'm gonna let this sit until it's at room temperature, maybe an hour, hour and a half. And once it gets to room temperature, I'll be back at, at you guys, and we're going to start frying up this scrumptiously deumptious but, um, milk batter fried chicken, okay? Welcome, everybody, to my grand opening channel, just like that. <laughs> Took me a while to get it up, but it's up. Tonight, um, we're going to have first, 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 first. Let me start off telling you what the channel is about. If you didn't read down below, it's uh, we're gonna be mug. We're gonna have mug bangs. We're gonna have fashion shows. We're gonna have thrifting. We're gonna have challenges. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> I know I am. I'm gonna have fun. So, uh, tonight I'm going to bring it to you with some fried butter milk chicken. Mm hmm Yeah. Some mac and cheese, cheesy macaroni and cheese, and sweet candied peas. Probably never had sweet candied peas, but I'm going to show you how to make it. And when you taste them sweet candied peas, you're going to be like, hey, hey, these things are good. <laughs> and, but just know you got it from your girl, Meryl. Okay? So... We're going to get started. What I do is I take my chicken. And in, in an early video, you're going to see how I clean my chicken. Okay? And maybe it'll help, you know, uh, young people who don't know how to clean chicken. So, but here you see my good old brown, brown bag. When you put your chicken in this, for some reason or another, it don't make your chicken all clumpy. So you're going to see when I take it out. What did I tell you? So, I'm going to start off with a chicken leg. Well, chicken leg, I'm going to take it as it come up. And a chicken breast. And I'm just going to drop it off in the flour. I'm going to give it a shake. Probably lose five pounds from that, huh? Okay, so I'm going to take it, dust it off like that. See what I'm saying, y'all? And watch how crispy it be. And I'm going to lay it in my basket. Get the other chicken leg. And I'm going to lay that in there. On one side, I'm going to drop it. I basically cook it for 15 minutes. And then what I do is when it meets the halfway mark, then I take that chicken and I flip it over, you know, if you haven't gotten a full coverage. But if it's a full coverage of, of the oil over the chicken, then what I do is I let it cook the full 15 without me, you know, opening up the top and, and all that. And I got like a nice steamer one too, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my hands, get my hands cleaned off, y'all. I'll be right back at you. I'm going to use two different tongs, one for turning and one with the raw meat. So we're going to go over here, and I've already started, I've already started my uh, water for my mac and cheese. So I'm going to set that there, and I'm going to pour the mac and cheese. I'm going to pour the mac in. I'm 
<laughs> get this open. You know, I thought I would be nervous with this, but I'm not nervous, not one bit, but I know I'm going to give you better, better videos. I hope it's not too dark. I've been trying to get this done for you guys all day. Get this uh, video uploaded. So I did put salt in. I put enough salt in because after it's cooked, I don't add any more salt. I may add a little bit more. What I use in there it is the sea salt. Let's put a little bit more. Set that there. So I give it a stir. And then I turn it down like medium heat. Put the top on it, but give it some space there. Uh, leave the cap cracked a little bit so therefore I don't get that boil. So we're going to wait that 15 minutes. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put the um, peas on. I'm going to put them inside of a pot. Like a saucepan, I'm gonna set this there. This is for the macaroni and cheese. So yeah, tonight I'm using canned peas. Because if I did it, if I use this recipe with frozen, they'll be a little too firm for this. So canned peas is the best way to go. I mean, that's my opinion. You can use fresh, you know, if you want, or you can use the frozen. And what you want to do is, you want to drain like half of the can of water off because you don't want them to cook to, to a, a mush. So I'm just going to dump it out half a can for each one. You can stand still. So you half a can like that because you want that nice taste of the peas. So we should give you about a cup of water. A cup of the juice. Uh-uh. So you just need a half a stick of butter. I'm using three cans of peas because my family is, is large is large but if it's just you and you know you you know the amounts that you should use but tonight i'm using three cans of um of peas and a half a stick of butter i have one third cup of sugar so i'm gonna take that one third cup of sugar and put that in i'm just gonna add a little more so we're gonna let that cook just like that up under high heat just to get it going because like i said you don't want to cook it slow because what's going to happen is going to turn into a mush i'm gonna mix it up some And this basically is for anything you want candied. If you want candied carrots, that's good too. You use the same method. So we're going to check on our mac. Because remember, we want our macaroni and cheese to be uh, el dente. So we don't want them to cook so soft. Because when we put it in the oven, we know that... And I'm going to preheat that while I'm talking to three... Uh, to 400 okay we know that they're actually going to cook itself in the uh oven is going to finish cooking with the cheese and milk and all that good old stuff yes okay and i don't cook it with with butter uh sometime i may put a little olive oil in it but tonight i'm not 
So I'm gonna turn that down on just a little bit. Oh, it's at perfect temperature height right now. Okay. Yes, a little. Oh, it's looking good. And it's at almost at halfway, past the halfway mark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take it. Uh-oh. And, and I'm gonna flip it. Can y'all see down in there? Is that chicken looking good? It's looking good. Oh, it's looking good. Looking so good. Close that baby down. Let it finish cooking. Woo! My daughter taught me how to how to do the uh, the uh, what you call this? The what? Watch y'all. Did I do it? <laughs> That chicken going to be good. <laughs> That's what you want it to do. You want it to boil. You want to keep it at that high heat. So it'll hurry up and, you know, cook down and, and get that candy taste. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spoon so I can taste and see how uh, it's coming up. How, you know, it's coming out. So as soon as my daughter gives me a spoon, one second. So. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's like really good. Watch this, y'all. Look at that chicken. Now what I do, just, just to make sure, I pop it down for like, like two more minutes. Cause me, I don't like nothing red in the bottom. Put that top down. I'm telling y'all, my mind is on those peas. Those peas taste Delectable, and that's for real. So let's check on this mac, and I believe it should be El Dente. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Why them two minutes? We take it, let that chicken be perfect. Take our noodles. Holders. I'm gonna carry this over to the sink. I'm gonna pour them noodles over in there like that, y'all. Oh yeah. Give me that spoon. You want all the bags? Let's start off with some bags of cheese. I got my cheese here. Set those over there. I hope it's not dark. So I got me some triple chatter. I'm gonna empty that off in there like that. And get that a little mix. Yeah, that chicken ready. Let it drain a little bit. I got me some four cheese Mexican. I don't know who opened it, but they did. I think I did when I made those steaks subs yesterday. I'm gonna stir that up. 
I'm not going to use no eggs in this tonight. I'm going to use a sharp. I'm going to open up my can of milk. Kind of thick there. Okay. I'm not going to go rattle right that. With. This is about a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. That's my top. Mix that up. Put me some black pepper up in Put me some black pepper up in here. If I was cooking for a group, I would be using white pepper. You see that? Oh yeah, that look good. I got my milk ready. I'm using this pet milk. I just love the way that tastes. And I may use like a little bit of whole milk. I like a half a cup of whole milk with that. It just give it this nice rich taste. And it makes the cheese creamier. So I'm going to add like a half a cup of whole. I'm going to mix that up like that, y'all. Some more triple cherry. Mmm, it smells good. Believe me when I tell you, it smells so delicious with that smoked paprika in it. Smoked paprika just gives it this wonderful taste. Take this chicken. chicken so it'll stay nice and crispy. Don't that look good, y'all? Now, see, this is what you're looking for with your peas. Just to cook down just a little bit more. Probably let it cook like another minute. When you see them starting to wrinkle on the top, you know, a few of them are wrinkling. It doesn't have to be on top. Let them cook no more than like two more minutes. I'm gonna put a breast in there with a wing and a leg. That's probably all the space we have. Excuse me, sneezing my shirt. Now see it's not clumpy. I say my minute is up for this, and I'm gonna cover this up right quick. Bag. 
because you want that wing to get done first all in between there. Now remember I said I take it and set it for 15 minutes. It's going down. I probably could have got another leg in there. I'm going to bring that top down. Let's add the egg in there. Add it two eggs. And I take and use parchment paper in mine. Very easy cleanup in the end. Oh, don't that look good? Don't that look good, y'all? Oh my. I like to get it all. Oh, here, get this and rinse it so it don't get hard. Look at that. Woo! This is creamy. I tell you, I am tempted to taste it, but because I put that egg in there, I don't. And I won't. Not with the egg in there till it's done, but my, oh, my, oh, my. I'm gonna take and shake a little bit of uh, paprika, smoked paprika on top. Not much, cause I don't wanna, you know, make it overkill. Even this, even that smoked paprika is so good. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit here and there. Okay. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to put half and half because you know this for Mexican cheese here is going to have a little bit of mozzarella in it. Come on. Come on, graciously. some of that cheese on top. Oh yeah. What y'all talking about? That's enough cheese. What y'all think? Ooh. I hope don't nobody hurt themselves tonight because they just might. My children can go down. Now, I realized I didn't have any foil. I went in the store and forgot foil. So I need some more parchment paper. I'm going to take and put that parchment paper on top of here. And let's see how that parchment paper work out. Because I know they do have foil that has like that parchment paper underneath. That's just so your cheese won't stick. But I'm just hoping that it doesn't dry it out. I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to do a little improviser. Take that and set that in the oven like that. Woo! Watch that. Uh-oh. Watch that melt. I'm thinking maybe I should take and put a little bit more milk in with that. I'll do that in a second. Got my chicken back at the five minutes. I'm gonna bring that chicken. Hi, I got everything done. Uh, we got the macaroni and cheese. We got the peas, the candy peas. We got uh, the fried chicken. All this is made from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! 
Okay. Took a little time, but here we are. We're going to say our blessing and give God thanks for everything that he has given to us. So thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You bless us and you multiply us. You remove sickness and disease from the midst of us. We'll never be sick or diseased another day in our life. You bless us. You replenish the earth. And, Father God, you multiply us. And we'll never be hungry another day in our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're getting ready to our day again. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Okay. Have you guys ever, 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 ever gave like thanks, hoorays to your food? Watch this. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Woo! Sure, gonna pick you up and eat you. It was like, I, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Put my cook on. I'm gonna get so me. Why are we serving that so much? Because I'm serving me. So hold on. Cook on fire. It's so ugly, and greedy. I mean, they just like so ugly and greedy. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Ain't nobody got no hot sauce. Oh, that's what we forgot. This man. Oh, man. You didn't even go nowhere. We're <laughs> gonna stop. Look at. <laughs> they want to see the Reaching chicken. Reaching over me. They want to see the chicken. Look at this. You can do it like this. Lush like it. have the hand behind it. Like. Come on. Well, I have my hand behind it. Uh oh. Look at these cheese. <laughs> Okay. Let me warn y'all about her right now, okay? <laughs> Look at. Now remember I said I'm gonna serve y'all. I'm gonna serve y'all first. Woo! Here. Come on. With the first bite. Move. Get off my face. Here you go. <laughs> Here y'all go. Mmm. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Wait, why am I saying num, num, num? Mmm. Mmm. Next. Okay. And then, that's enough. That's enough, okay? Okay. Right. <laughs> this is her all the time. <laughs> I'll try to take the bite first, okay? Mm. 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 Come on, take it too long. Oh, turn this way. Mm. This way, this way. Oh, okay, okay. All right, y'all. It's time for us to eat our food mm. next. Why are you touching all over the chicken? So I'm trying to see which one I want. I touch them. You didn't talk it. I don't want this one. I don't like a lot of meat, y'all. I like tiny pieces. Like, mm -hmm. I can eat wings or something like that. Mmm. This is my turn. Herb. Come oh, if, trust me. Look. You see that? It ain't nowhere near dry. Oh, yeah. It's like, it'd be like... Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> it'd be like real juicy. Not real juicy, but nice bloody, and bloody. Not dripping. Here, oh, he's serving so nice. Mm. If you can reach her out. <clears throat> All right, Derek, uh, you can serve yourself from that bowl right there. <laughs> I'm gonna take out some of these peas. <laughs> Mac and cheese is my. Favorite. I'm trying to tell them a fun fact. A fork, a fork. Oh, I want yeah. some peas. I want some peas. You got it so good. 
Now, mm. hot sauce, peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Mm. It's like no joke, y'all. It's really not. I didn't even eat it yet, and I know it's good. So. Ooh. Hey, that's just rest of this room. Nice no, you can just scoop that over here. Just scoop it this way. Nice and cheesy. <laughs> Excuse me, Mama. You have Derek a fork, too. And you could have asked me for it. Oh, Ma, can I have a fork, please? That was after the fact. <laughs> what? I was, I was being... Mm. <clears throat> oh, this is so good. Mmm. Got a hot sauce. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. I was doing a little bit too much. Got you. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling y'all. My mom. He did great cook. Mmm. Man, this chicken is um, so crushy looking. I'm. It is really good. Mac and cheese is like super cheesy, delicious, immaculate. I mean, I'm kind of out of vocabulary at this point. Mm. But you have been chopped. What? <laughs> <laughs> How much you chopping the chalk on tape before you say it's good and back when you ran out of a cap and you chop so much? You? <laughs> yeah, because that's what that's how they be on our show, too. I'm not going to chop. <laughs> mm, so good. You have to chop just to work on my restaurant. Mm -mm. Okay, this meal is wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's right. I make some water right here. They're calling. <laughs> what is that? I think I was hurt by Marcy. Probably my friend. Family. Boom. Lord. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I apologize. Mm. I apologize for not talking, but it is like really good. I have some hot sauce. Some hot sauce. But I'm about full. Hot sauce. So how, how are you full already, Ma? If you got one more time to reach okay. over me, you ain't gonna know it. You should have reached behind, Mom, actually. So. See all that? Oh, blue behind twinkle eyes. That's what we right there. I got sparkle on my eye. See this right here? All this good old hot sauce. You probably can't even see it, but. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, excuse me. Mmm. Boomer. Okay, we're in the cold water. Yep. That's how we do. Run that water right from the faucet. It'd be nice and cold. Yeah.